In today's video, we will talk about new great technology for seawater desalination without using filters or high pressure pumps. Two researchers from MIT University have been working in the last 10 years on developing a new methods for desalinating seawater and they finally could build a portable device that gives a clean and a clear drinkable water and it just needs a very low power. Now, there is a reason behind global interest to find new solutions for seawater desalination. According to the US government, the water covers 71% of our Earth's surface. Over 96% of this water is saline water in oceans, and only 4% is fresh water that we need for our everyday to live. And the bad news is, the fresh water is decreasing due to the climate change. Places like California, Middle East, North Africa, are facing a serious problem with the fresh water. The latest UN water report is warning that the drought could be the next pandemic. Currently, there are two water desalination technologies, the RO desalination and thermal desalination, the reverse osmosis desalination, or also we call it RO desalination, uses the principle of osmosis to remove the salt by pumping the water through membranes while the thermal desalination uses the heat to evaporate and condensate the water to purify it. And if you want to know more information about the both methods, there's a link in the description. However, the problem with the RO technology is the use of membranes and filters that has to be changed frequently, which are made of non-sustainable materials. While for the thermal technology, we need a very high energy in order to evaporate the water. Although Saudi Arabia is building a giant desalinating plant that uses 100% renewable energy. The new water desalination technology is called ICP, which is a stand for Ion Concentration Polarization. In this technology, the electrical field is applied to a membrane's place above and below a water channel. The impurities will charge to a negative and positive particles, including salt, bacteria, and viruses. The charged particles will be pulled to the membranes, and a second stream water discharge them out. This technology requires a very low power, and it can be powered by using solar panel. Also, it can be suited in a small case, which makes it a portable device that can be used anywhere. And for increasing the capacity, the size of the device can be scaled up. According to the researchers, the prototype that they built produced 0.3 liter of water per hour and requires only 20 watt per hour to produce 1 liter of water. The resulting water exceeds the health organization quality guidelines. This new technology is low cost and it's more sustainable than the current used water desalination technologies. We hope to see the companies embrace it and scale it up. The source link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one.